everyone this is Samantha from Scrap Masters Paradise and this video is one that I've had some requests on for how to make die cut shapes for your electronic die cutters to cut around your stamped images so I just pulled up this pumpkin image from the Falling for Autumn stamp set from SP and Company and I just have it opened in Illustrator this is actually the the pumpkin as it was designed but what you can do is you can stamp your image that you're trying to make a die cut shape for. You stamp it, probably in black would be easier, and then scan it in on your computer. Then you'll need to have this image saved as a JPEG. So I just have this in Illustrator here, and I'm going to go to File, Export, and I want to save it as a JPEG. I'm going to use the artboard so it that just means it uses the whole picture and doesn't just cut right at the lines right around my image. I'm going to export this and I'm just going to call it pumpkin. And I'll put it on my desktop just so it's easy for me to find. Export and you want to make sure it's the highest quality. I have it as image quality maximum. If you're using Photoshop, I think the number goes up to 12, but it'll still say maximum. I'm exporting my picture. And then to work with my die cutter, I use Surecuts a lot too. I actually use a Cricut Expression, but the Cricuts no longer work with this program because of the lawsuits. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this image tab here, up here at the top, click it and browse and find that JPEG I just saved. It's going to be on the desktop. Okay, we've got desktop. There's our pumpkin image. I'm just going to hit open. Okay, so I've opened my image. I'm going to preview it here. There's my auto trace pumpkin. It looks really nice. And I'm just going to hit OK. So there's the pumpkin. Okay, the pumpkin showed up huge in this example. Sometimes when I go through Photoshop rather than Adobe Illustrator, um, the, the image is the right size. But this one came out huge. So I went ahead and stamped my little pumpkin on my piece of paper. And I'm just going to measure it uh, across it. So for this, I'm going to go over here to the width and the height and say keep proportions. And then my measurement was 1.2. 1.9 inches and now my image is the actual size. I'm just going to scoot it over maybe. I've got my image and now what I'm going to do under appearance over here there's style normal, shadow rounded, shadow pointy, shadow straight, shadow blackout rounded, pointy and straight, and I like shadow blackout rounded. It just fills in the whole image here. First, I'm going to go back and I'm going to copy this. I just went Control C, Control V. So now I have two copies. And I'm going to make one into a shadow. Oh, I can't click on this thin line. Okay, I've got two of the shadows. And then I can go back when I have hi highlighted one. I go back to Blackout Shadow Rounded and put it over my image. So it's really small. Oops. So the shadow is really, really tiny, and that's just not going to be big enough. Let's see. 1.5. You just have to play with the number to get it as big as you want. I think I want it a little bit bigger, so I'm going to make it 1.75. 1.75, and I don't know what units that's in or anything. So I've got my shadow here, and if I get it lined up, it's not quite lined up, but you can see there's some white space around the whole image, which is what you want. I'm taking the shadow. I'm going to just get rid of this layer now. Just be left with the shadow. And then I'm going to cut it out. I got my paper loaded into my Cricut and ready to go. And I'm just going to hit cut. And OK. Cutting out. And 
It says cutting is complete, so I'm going to hit unload. And I've got my little shape that I can stamp. Let's hold it up to my little image. I'm sorry, the lighting in here is awful. It looks like it'll be the right size. I'm going to go stamp it and test it out. I closed the laptop so you could see a little bit better. So the image is all die cut out and then I stamped it and it looks really, really cute. So that's just an easy way. You can do this with any of the stamps that you have. You just stamp them, scan them in, um, turn them into JPEG files, then get them cut out. So I hope this helps some of you out there who are trying to have cuts for your images. Thanks for watching. Bye.